What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm and we're back with Cross Out today and today I thought I would show you guys the invasions. So Siege will come out in an hour or a day I mean and invasions are basically the PvE part of the game where you get copper for EXP. And the invasion is special because once you hit level 14 you're allowed to create a leviathan which is the bosses that we will be fighting in the raids. So these are actually player created vehicles that we're going to have to fight throughout the whole thing. And they're pretty monstrous sometimes. I fought one the other day that had four 88mm cannons and like 16 machine guns. So I haven't won a couple. <laughs> like, I won my first like five and then all hell broke loose. So we're bringing in a special car that I built. Uh, we actually crafted up an engine which you guys can see under... I don't think you craft them here. No, I didn't craft the hazardous one. I crafted the powerful heavy generator right here. Powerful engine might be cool because we can get a lot of speed into our, you know, low moving, slow speed vehicles. Alrighty. Well, this is the power score that we're going to have to work with as teammates, which, you know what I mean? These guys are going to be major players in this whole thing. Well, I'll be more defensive because I have a uh, 76 on a fucking swivel along with the upgraded medium machine gun. So let's see what I can do as you guys can see the my vehicle of death. Hopefully we can actually do something here. Alright, we took some wheels off. Surprisingly, wheeling in a Leviathan is probably the best thing to do. Because then you don't get hit by all those things if you can turn it a certain direction. Usually they're front facing guns. And we're making pretty good work. Oh no, it's got his guns on me. This is going to be the end of me. So basically, once those things hit you, you get one life for free, and then the rest of them you can buy into, or if you have a repair kit, you can just get back in. I mean, we did pretty good work to that Leviathan, which is pretty cool. Um, I obviously need more armor, which is why we're going into scavengers and whatnot. Alright, that's one out of three leviathans. We have three minutes to kill the next one. Which sounds easy, but it's not. I only have one life left. Obviously, we lost one of our only lives. Alright, we get five off of kill assists in this. So, copper's based on, obviously, EXP. So the more damage we do to these guys, the better. Oh no. Oh no. So this might be the end of us. Yes, it is. So I could buy myself back in for $118.99. But as you can see, that's what a Leviathan looks like. All those front-facing guns and everything, that's nuts. Crazy damage they can do. This guy looks like he just brought in a lot of armor. I don't know, that's not really armor, like heavy armor. This guy's got big guns. You know what I mean? He's got that special sledgehammer shotgun along with other things. We also have to protect this oil pump the entire time. We're looking at our teammates right now. He's got the auto cannon and a hazardous generator. He should actually get close to the enemy because when he blows up, that hazardous generator does a shitload of damage. Oh, good. He killed another Leviathan that I'm not able to help them with. <laughs> the third one, unfortunately. I'm not going to buy myself back in because the premium currency is why you do these. You build weapons and then you sell them. Or you can buy new weapons, but you don't want to waste that currency. It's so you can buy on the market easier. I mean, I could help my team, but it's not worth the m amount in copper. I could buy more copper for the amount that I would get from this battle. And that's what I'm talking about. You have these monsters that broadside, you know, four cannons around him. And then he has a turreted one on top. That is nutty. So we're kind of relying on this guy with the two autos to kind of get out of there. Not get hit by a cannon, hopefully. He's got that that engine we were just talking about. And our teammates seem to be having... Oh, he has a turret. That's why. That's why I see the little turret he deployed. Ooh, <laughs> it just aims at the turret. Ooh, he's in trouble. This guy's got six kills though, Kazer. 
Come on, wheel him. If they can wheel one side and allow him not to move, it'd be great because they can take down the cannon so it doesn't do the damage that it needs to. <gasps> oh my god, that was close. Come on, Kaz. Paradox, I mean. He's fighting it out. It's all up to one guy now. Nope, he got two lives left. Well, these are our big dogs, obviously, that are fighting. Uh, we need them both to, you know, survive this. Razor is on his last life, and Kaz is our Haron mix is also, but they got his hull exposed. This should be a win. I have not won in a long time. But the only way to do these is to earn fuel through main matches, so you got to keep an eye out for that stuff. There we go. So we actually want and we'll be receiving copper, which you use for crafting, and I'll show a little bit into that. So we got 18 copper. Pretty good, pretty good. So now if we go down to storage, we have 54. That means... With our stuff, since we are not level 3 yet, we can't make that stuff. We can make things such as the generator, which sells for 560. We can make a powerful generator, or engine I mean. Turret deployer, truck cabin, twin wheel, turret 8076, auger, armor track. The armor tracks actually selling for pretty good right now. But then you got to look into the, like, you know what I mean, your market value versus what it's worth to build. You know what I mean? That sells for 501 while this 551, 406, 402, 552, 562. Holy crap. And that's easier because it has less copper to use. 535, 423, 250. So you know what I mean? You can look into that stuff and craft all you want. I'm probably going to craft a piece that I need for myself. Actually. Let's see. Just a quick check. Always like to check to make sure that I'm not going to waste my money on something. It'd be cool to get this one because it has a higher uh, power score and whatnot. So we get into the higher stuff. Hardened tracks, hazardous generator. But yeah, as you guys can see, you can craft into many different things. All right, we have an auger. Truck heaven's pretty cool. Hmm. What should I go into? Maybe I should wait till I'm in Lunatics because Lunatics have some cool stuff too, like a Wasp launcher, which is an unguided rocket launcher system, which, you know what I mean? It's rockets. Obviously pretty cool. Chameleon, which allows your vehicle to disappear. A light generator, which will add, you know, just one power. Explosive spear tips, buzz saws, all that fun stuff. I like this cabin. Light engine, keep your speed up and whatnot for every 500 kilograms. It gains... Or it can push at least 500 kilograms faster. So, you know what I mean? If your vehicle is light, you can definitely make it through. Unfortunately, I believe our vehicle is pretty heavy. Yes, yeah, 676. So, it will weigh about 6... It will go for 6,000 worth of the kilogram mass running. All right. How much fuel do we have? I do not have any fuel. Fantabulous. You know, it happens though. So you can do things like sell the boosters, sell a carjack, you know. Sold it right there and then for 11. And then we can go into the market and buy things. I've been grinding out a few things, so and that's always fun as well. We're just going to scrap that. And then you can come to the market and say, I want, I don't know, weapons. Go to the market, click blue. And you can see if you need a weapon bad enough, you know, you can buy it for the amounts or you can put in an offer you know what I mean these guys are offering this amount so if someone wants to sell it right now they can get that amount which is pretty cool well let's see we'll switch back to my little scrap magnet that we got going on here just has three guns and an auger and we'll jump into a regular match do I have the fuel barrel on board still I wonder yeah I still have a fuel barrel right there so I can get fuel to do set raid missions and whatnot and let's get some radios so by putting radios on board the more durability objects you have on board which can you know objects that can break wheels radios radar dishes the more that you have on board the more scrap you will get when you lose or the more scrap 
pieces you'll get when you win. So it's risk versus reward, you know? So if you put the risk in of some of your best durability items, you know, putting them on a vehicle such as weapons. Weapons are also a durability object. So putting those into a match will allow you to do fun things. So this guy's got a radar dish and rocket launcher, which is weird. Um, Don't really know the power score that I'm at. We'll find out. I'm at 2,100 for my vehicle. So hopefully we're not shoved into a big match. Yeah, so these are people just seal clubbing. They basically made vehicles with just rockets to, uh, you know, seal club. But it doesn't always work that way because if they get hit by a cannon, those rocket launchers and stuff don't have the highest of durabilities. You can actually fight them pretty easily. And it's a guided rocket, so if you keep moving, you can actually dodge them. It sounds ridiculous, but you can dodge them. I mean, if I get hit by one, he's actually on our team, so that's actually an advantage. And we'll just kind of do my usual lunaticish run. Make sure you always hit someone, because EXP equals scrap. Look at that. One kill. But EXP equals, you know, more scrap. Getting a certain amount of EXP will equal more scrap, etc., etc. Uh, getting assists will get you scrap. All that fun stuff. Ooh, that hurt. And there we go. So our base is getting capped. I got to make sure I get back to base and actually help defend while I'm on fire and burning. Not good at all. So I'm not going to be really much use at the cap, but at least I can slow it down. Um, hopefully someone else will come back me up. Yeah. Nope, doesn't look like anybody feels like getting to the cap today. But as always, guys, make sure you defend your cap, because that's a loss for us. Even though we, you know, have all our teammates except for me, no one got back to the cap. But because I have durability objects, I got 19 for 640, which is not bad at all. You know, just a little lesson into getting scrap. And it also pertains to EXP in the raids and stuff. So if you do races, etc., you know, the raid mechanics to get copper. It all equals EXP equals copper. Make sure you always stay on that roll. And then from there, you know, you can determine how you want to do things. I prefer to do the durability tricks, such as radio is on the side, radar dishes. You can use it as armor. Radar is, just remember, at the bottom of the screen, you can see a number 697. That's my hull strength. So when they're shooting at my thing, it has 697. If you use radios, it doesn't give you a high score to that. So I saw a guy who covered his vehicle in radios. Yes, good durability. They get shredded pretty easily, and his, you know, hull armor was 197. So, he could take one cannon blow and blow the fuck up. You gotta make sure you kind of, you know, stay away from that. You gotta find a median. I mean, unless you're making it, <laughs> like I just said, that won't have a good hull strength right there, Dave. If I were to ram him, he would die. My auger will go right through him. See, I just got 50 XP just to shoot at that guy for a second. Like, I understand kills are always better. Kill stealing is going to happen, but... I did not see that cannon. So we did enough damage to him that he has no wheels and he's just going to sit there for someone else to finish the kill. <laughs> he can't really do anything. Our bot's not going to be useful. Oh, and there's the guy rocket I was talking about. Seal clubbing right here. Watch. Ooh. See, no hull strength. To stay at that power score, he had to lose armor. Not to lose armor, extra weapons, anything. So it's not always the most advised thing to do. You know? Oh, they gotta make sure they kill this guy. 
Hmm. I wonder what his power score is being that low. You know what I mean? Just having two medium machine guns. Actually, they're not high power scores. I prefer machine guns. I like the way they strip armor and whatnot. So look at this guy. He's got a tower of guns. It actually is quite effective because you have all firing angles pretty good. And you can shoot directly down into them from hills. So what are we going to get for that? We did pretty good. Yeah, look, we got a radio, that, and five scrap, and a wire. So, you know, we're on the right track on what to do. Wire will come in handy when we get to purple weapons crafting. I got to go level five on one of these. I'm kind of going up in each one to get, you know, the normal parts. And then from there, we'll move forward into purple and whatnot when I pick a faction. But when you first join a faction, you get certain parts that you didn't have available before. So it's always good to jump around. Lunatics has lightweight, you know, frames, which, you know, you can attach wheels and whatnot to. Which is actually quite good to go into early because lightweight, I mean, it doesn't equal structure, but it equals speed. And speed is sometimes a man's best friend in this game. You know, I have quite a bit of armor on board. It's just kind of protecting my hull. Um, the hull's sitting back a little bit. Just for added protection, but past that point. Oh, see, it was not smart of me to run in like that. I'm not going to get much of this battle, even if we won. Um, I did not do enough EXP damage to anybody. Oh, never mind. We're going to get some scrap. We got an assist kill, which is actually excellent. And we got y Y9K, Yak9K. Oh, he's named after a War Thunder plane. Actually, a really OP one. It has a 45 millimeter cannon from what I can remember. It's just a, basically a bomber killer. As the Yak 9s are usually. And hopefully our bot helps him up. Nope, bot just left him behind. That's what you get for seal clubbing, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's an effective method, but it's not exactly OP because, as we can see, he has 301 structure. One 88mm cannon can destroy him in one hit. And he's also got an ammo box in the back, so if you break through and hit that, he blows up. All over. Once again, we got cappers. He just blew himself up. He just gave up on the whole game. <laughs> Good stuff. I mean, it's down to bot. One bot and him. So flipping is not always the best idea if you don't have a carjack on board. Especially if you're relying on bots to flip you. That are guys who will drive off cliffs to flip themselves. So that's a good loss right there. We're going to lose durability to our parts. Remember, losing is never good. It's always good to work with your team and protect your caps if possible. So we got damaged parts and we're going to, you know what I mean, pieces will break. Such as radios, wheels, radars, weapons, you know, weapons, weapon cooler, and even our oil drum in the middle right there. Our auger also has durability. It's one of the me melee weapons can have durability. Uh, it's not like one of the knives or a push bar. It actually has durability, so that will add to my scrap, but along with durability, which means I would have to recraft it to get another auger. That or at least, you know, unlock it by going down probably the scavenger tree. I'm not sure if you unlock that, though. Engineers have, you know, you always level up in engineers. Let's see. This is not my favorite map. It's, it's one of those maps where it's going to turn into sniper wars. And we have the missile guys, so at least we have some cover. Of some usefulness here. Yeah, so we got a bunch of guys just hiding in the back. Ooh, that bot just aced me. Please die. Please. Thank you. And the medium machine gun upgraded ones are lethal as hell. If you can get a good pair of those, you're good. Ooh. This guy's also got a wasp launcher, which is unguided. The wasp is an unguided rocket, but it will still do the damage that you need it to do. That's our pyro. 
pyro launcher. So you will see people will seal club with their pyro launchers. And no one's covering our cap once again. So we got another loss, which isn't good. I don't like to lose durability so much. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. It turns out, you know what I mean, those rockets do come in handy at this this level of play. Um, at a higher level of play, they're, you know what I mean, they're useful to an extent, but they're not the most useful thing in the game. So we have a part that broke. We got 19 scrap, which isn't bad. And what has broken? We lost a medium tire. So to replace it, you know, since we built the scrap machine, we can get tires pretty easily, as you guys saw. You can ungroup it. I have quite a few cannons, quite a, a lot of stuff. Five of these at level 40. You know, we're doing pretty good. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end here. As always, guys, we showed you guys how to do scrap and copper today, along with a little bit of crafting. And as always, have a wonderful night.